it's exciting that the the season's in the home stretch here. I think all the students on campus are busy with finals, and we're prepping up for the Big Ten tournament. Um, anytime you make the postseason and you get to play in the Big Ten tournament, it's a big deal. And so we're excited to be in the top half of the bracket, just barely. But uh, um, but it should be fun to see our team uh, going into the season. One of our big goals was: Do we have the ability to beat every team in the Big Ten? Can we take one game from every team? And it was close, going down to the wire at Nebraska and facing them in extra innings, and um, you know, stealing a game there and, and almost taking two. But to go through the schedule, it's pretty special in a conference like ours to be able to notch a win against every team that you face in the Big Ten. And I think that makes us a, a scary eight going into the tournament. Next goal is to win, beat Indiana. I think you put everything into uh, game one. And so it's that survive and advance mentality. Um, it's a good matchup. We haven't seen them yet. So we're going to continue the same goal. It's funny, you know, you, you have Indiana, and, and if you're fortunate enough to win, you face Michigan, and those are two teams we haven't seen. So we're keeping the goals pretty simple of saying it's not about winning the tournament. Let's just get a win against every Big Ten team we see. You know, we just happen to see Indiana only one time now. Um, but we like that element of surprise against, against that team. So Saturday is kind of a grind, it seems, with all those extra inning games. Do you feel like it, maybe you're tired from that a little bit, or maybe it's better practice to have some kind of experience like that before you go into the Big Ten tournament? Uh, I think Saturday was the perfect the perfect tune-up, really. You play at a school like Nebraska, and <clears throat> the facilities are beautiful. It's a big stage. They've got fans. You know, They set an attendance record of more than 1,000 fans a game. So when you're um, trying to get your team ready for postseason, to play in a big stage is perfect. To play against a really good team like Nebraska makes it even better. And to have to kind of gut it out and play them through extra innings, uh, the 14-inning game was unreal. Really watching Taylor Page Stewart through 10 innings in relief. And when do you ever see that of 10 innings of relief? Um, but for us to then find a way to hold them down every single inning and get the win was was unbelievable. And I think even after that, a lot of teams might have just folded and been exhausted after a four-hour game. And our girls were like, let's fire up and take the next one. And they really wanted to show it wasn't a fluke, taking Nebraska to extra innings. So to do it back-to-back -back games, to go extra innings then the next game, um, it was it was fun. And afterwards, I think the biggest compliment, you know, Nebraska's coach is a Hall of Fame coach, Rhonda Ravel, and she said, that was literally the best doubleheader I've ever been a part of. And so those are small victories. You get someone who has been to the World Series seven times as a coach, and she's going to tell us playing against Wisconsin twice was her best doubleheader. You know, that put a smile on my face driving home for the, the seven-hour bus drive through the night. I know every coach is going to say we're going to take it one game at a time, and I know Indiana's probably your, your focus. But when you see Michigan there uh, in, the, in your side of the bracket, could you prevent yourself from being like, oh, boy, that's going to be tough for you, know, you to get through the tournament? You, you know, it's funny that some coaches, our team this year matches up best with the best teams. And so I think our hardest games were games that on paper we may have been better than the other team. So right away to go into Indiana, who, you know, is they've been ranked ahead of us all year to be an underdog in two teams. And then to see Michigan, we love playing Michigan. We've seen them in the conference tournament. You know, in our in our history, we're one and one against them in the, in the Big Ten tournament since we've been here in the last couple of years. And they've both been phenomenal games. So, I mean, what a dream that would be to get to face them and, and get to go at it again. Going into the year, we said another big goal if we could get 30 wins, and we're, you know, we're sitting on 28, so we're not dead yet. There's still a chance. If you take a game and then you get to, to keep playing and have a chance to go after Michigan, I mean, that's what we all get in the sport for is to play the best you know, when it counts in the tough times.